wanted to make a hopefully what is a short video about what tire fits on a 64 inch K&M X3. Uh, you see the tires I'm going to fit on there uh, from right to left on the video screen. You've got a 29 inch Maxxis Bighorn stock on a X3 64, at least a 17 model. To the left of that is a 30 inch rock crawler tire, stock rock crawler tire off an RC. To the left of that is a 30 inch Probably a little bigger than that, uh, sand stripper, sand front tire. Uh, to the left of that is a true 32 inch, just trail tire. And we're gonna fit these on the machine, show you how they fit. And you can figure out for yourself what kind of, what size tire you wanna run on your X3. So here is the methodology we're gonna use. Uh, I took my wife's 64 and in the process of converting it to a 72 inch model, uh, one of the first things I did was I went and I took the springs off, which drops the car down in a position similar to what you would, would happen if you took a big jump or you fully bottomed the springs out. So this is your worst case scenario. Not going to happen for everybody. Um, if you're a rock crawler, you're probably not going to fully bottom out like this. Uh, if you're running slow, you're not going to bottom out like this. If you run in the dunes, you will bottom out like this. If you run high speed trails, uh, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hit at some point you're gonna hit something and compress that, uh, and you can always get a view of sort of how little clearance happen you get uh, under the car when you do that compression, and so we're going to um, fit the tires on the car like this, and we're just gonna show you the interference with the fenders and let you decide what uh, tire you want to run because, you know, uh, not not everybody's gonna get to this situation, but this is truly your worst case scenario. Okay, first tire we're going to show is the 30-inch Maxxis Bighorn stock tire, probably inch, inch and a half of clearance all around. Uh, next, we're looking at the true 32-inch trail tire. Uh, sitting up in there, I've got the sand tire next to it. Uh, as you can see, uh, I kind of wedged in there with the steering wheel. I think it's actually bending the, the firewall a little bit. That one is jammed up in there really tight. Once again, your choice, uh, at least you know what happens when you put that size tire on. Quick comment on the big 32 inch sand tire to the left there. Um, number one, as said before, those will hit. You're gonna bottom out in the sand. That tire's bigger than the 32 inch uh, trail tire there on the right. Uh, I, I tried to fit it on there, really wasn't going to go, so I, I, I didn't bother. Just uh, take it from me. You don't want to run a 32-inch sand tire on a 64-inch machine and go duning. Next, you always hear people say, oh, I can get more clearance by putting a spacer on. So I put a spacer on the front tire. I'm going to put that same 32-inch tire back on and show you what happens. And here it is. It made it worse. Um, actually, the tire hits much sooner. I couldn't even turn it uh, full, close, or more to full lock. So you can compare that to before. So for those of you that think uh, spacers are going to uh, fix your tire clearance problem, you know, be careful with that. It, it might actually make it worse. Next is a stock rock crawler, 30 inch tire. This one's actually a little bit bigger than 30 inches, and uh, it's fit on a obviously a stock Can-Am uh, beadlock rim. Uh, that tire just barely touches, um, you know, uh, I don't think it's nearly as bad as the 32, but uh, still touches a little, um, just informational stuff so you can see what fits. Uh, next is the sand stripper, 30 inch sand tire. Um, this one also hits, uh, you can see I can't get it to, to full lock, um, so you know, I think this one was, was a little bit bigger than 30 inches as, as well, probably closer to 30 and three quarters. So it gives you a little bit of an idea of how that would fit. Okay, this is the same uh, car. Uh, I converted it to 72 inches. That's a different video if you want to watch that. I think that conversion was amazing. As you can see, it gave me a bunch of extra tire clearance, that 32 has a, has a solid inch, inch and a quarter. You can go to even a bigger tire. Um, so that was, that was a nice benefit of the 64 to 72 inch conversion. Might give you a, a better sense of what a 72 inch car uh, interference would look like. Uh, we'll make one note, I reused the stock shocks on this one. So it, it's actually a couple inches uh, sort of limited up travel as well. 
uh, in addition to the width, but really that, that width really makes a big difference. Uh, and so if you have technical questions about that, feel free to ask questions, but that's, that's just how it works. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm an engineer. I like to make these things and post up stuff that, uh, you know, will help Can-Am owners make good decisions about how, what they're doing to their Can-Am.